Howdy, everybody. Uh, I don't know how much you spend every month to live the way you want to live. Um, not counting food and groceries, this is going to be how I live for $20 a month. Stay tuned. Howdy everybody, this is the Desert Horizons, AZ Off-Grid Unplugged RV Ranch and Ruger. Hey Ruger, hey puppy, you're such a good puppy, you're such a, yeah, deprived puppy, you can tell. Yeah, um, but uh, like I said, other than food, because everybody's diet is different, some people, the only way they can survive is by going out to eat every night. I've known people like that. So, I mean, but not everybody lives like that. Um, but uh, because I have my land already paid for, and now my water's paid for for the next year, uh, the only thing I'm going to have to buy is maybe propane, depending on how cold it gets this, this fall winter. Um, but the only thing I really pay for on here is internet access. It's the only thing I have to pay for. Everything else is on a six month basis or a yearly basis or, you know, but that's the only thing I got to pay for. And because of a deal I worked out, that's what it cost me is 20 bucks a month for one of those jet packs that gets hotspot places and gives me the internet so I have to drive into town and it gives me the internet it works 15 gigs a month for 20 bucks it works not great but like I said it works um, but I mean, like I, said, I don't pay for land uh, my taxes are $50 a year so that's nothing the insurance on this has a house and the land is, I think it's $85, $95 a year. Yeah, I mean, it's so nothing. I don't pay for TV or satellite or none of that because I got a, a TV antenna on the roof that works great. Um, yeah, I don't pay for phone. <laughs> Don't need one out here, and it doesn't work out here. Not with uh, the company I was with, Sprint. So, I actually think, I don't know. I was going to say the dog food probably costs more than what I eat in a month, but I don't know about that. He seems to really like the cheapest stuff. Buy him the, the best stuff, and he keeps throwing it up, so I'm not doing that anymore. Um, yeah, this was going to be an all long, drawn out video about how I do it. And it's like, there's not really a whole lot to tell. Like I said, everything's paid for. You know, and that's the key. I've been planning this for 20 years. Started implementing it over four years ago when I bought the property. I uh, got that for just over $1,000. So that started this whole process. Um, you know, I'm not paying for housing. I'm not paying rent, lot rent. Not paying electricity because I got the all those solar I could want. Uh, every night when I go to bed, I look at the thing and it's, it says the battery is at 12.8% like, or whatever, 12.8 volts. So that's like 100%. You can't do any better than that. That's you know, at night when everything's all shut off and I'm going to bed. And last night, 4.4 kilowatts, kilowatt hours. So and yeah, the electricity is all paid for for the next five years. And uh, if, if you amortize that out, the $3,100 divided by 60 months, which is only five years, comes to $51 a month. Well, odds are, because I'm keeping the batteries up so well and I'm not depleting them and not draining them down every night, it'll probably last closer to 10 years. So it'd be $25 a month. Well, but that's already paid for. So. The propane, like I said, will be the biggest thing. I got 55, well, uh, 24, about 55 gallons or so, something like that over 
on the other side set up. And I don't I don't use it because everything runs off electricity. I cook all my meals on electricity, which is off of the solar. So I don't even have a mailbox, so I can't get bills. <laughs> Yeah, 20 bucks a month. That's for uh, one of those uh, jetpack things. So it'll access the internet for me and allow me to upload stuff and download stuff. And uh, But there is way, there are ways to do it if you plan and prepare for it. Like I said, four years ago I bought this property for $1,000. Had it surveyed and everything. I got the motor home for $2,500. Uh, you know. So there are ways to do it. It just depends. And I'm still planning on building the cabin, but that's going to be after I start getting some more income coming in because I have no money coming in now. I'm living on what I got. It's going to last me for the next 18 months. So you know, that's kind of the way I'd figured out how to, how to do this. wasn't planning on doing it quite this soon, but you know, at least I had this as an option that I could fall back on. Look around for a piece of property where you want to live. Look at that sky tonight. Isn't that beautiful? We haven't had any clouds in the sky for a couple of weeks. So there's nothing to really reflect the, the sunlight at night. Just the orange you in the background and that's it. Um, I see Ruger's always right there regardless of where I am. He's always right there. Oh. Hey, like I said, you guys plan ahead and do this. I'm 60 years old and I'm retired. And I'm living on 20 bucks a month. I've got